First things first, congratulations on breaking the record for top school scorer for Spennymoor. Just sum up how it feels to break Gav's record. <laughs> it's been a long time coming, really. Um, obviously, I've always kind of had a miss since once I uh, hit 100. Um, obviously, it's brilliant to take over from Gav, such a club legend, you know, so got a lot of respect for Gav, so it's um, a really nice feeling. Um, but again, it's it's more important that we, we won today after obviously going behind, but yeah, just delighted to get there. You talk about the turnaround. What do you think changed in that second half to help turn the game on its head from a spending wheel point of view? I think the first half we were doing the right things really. It was um, quite integrated around the in the final third in the edge of the box. And sometimes you just got to keep banging on that door. And obviously, Sparty's wrapped one into me second half. I've took a little flick around the corner for Jordan and he's finished it. And that's kind of how it goes in these kind of games when teams set off here. You've got to just keep being patient, keep knocking the door. And obviously, once we get one, you, you fancy yourself getting another. And luckily, we did. The team are starting to pick up a bit of momentum now with a few wins. How important is it to get a win over another potential playoff competitor as well? Yeah, massive. Um, since the gaffers have came in, we, we've kind of known wh where we need to be and we've got a target where we're trying to get to and it's a, kind of another three points ticked off the board, really. Um, we just want to keep keep getting good results until the end of the season. I think there's 14, 13 games left now. Um, so every point's vital and we, we'll just keep striving for that, really. Going back to your record... How did it feel to break it at the brewery field and in front of the fans to turn the game on its head? Yeah, I suppose it was a bit of a perfect script, really, to score the winning goal um, from a free kick, slight deflection, like, um, but I'll take it. Um, yeah, just honestly, I'm just delighted. I'm pleased that it's kind of only took us one game, so it's not kind of lingering over us because it felt before the game that it was like, oh, it's all about if we can score this goal for the record and people forget like I might actually not score in the game so to, to score was brilliant and um, just please I can score and move on. So one last thing as well obviously quite a hectic schedule coming up in terms of games what do you think the the focus is now heading into those next few weeks and, and even to the end of the season really? Just same as we've been for the last five games really we're on a good run now so you know the gaffers just said now we've, we're five unbeaten but can we make it ten unbeaten um, and obviously that's our kind of goal for the for the next 10, 15 games really into the end of the season. But obviously we take one game at a time and it, it's about Kidderminster on Tuesday and we're on a good run, so they'll probably not want to come to us. So we just look to kind of put pressure on them and try and pick up the right result.